Hello Internet, my name is Jerry from WildEye and I'm going to answer a quick Lightroom related question. Uh, we are working on a whole bunch of different video series and things coming up. I'm already started the Friday ones where I look at the compositional side of wildlife photography. How you put something in the frame, where, what, and we'll discuss those, but that is something um, else. Um, question from a couple of people now on managing the collections within your Lightroom catalog. So there's two ways we can do this. A collection is for the digital speaking people, either a directory fake inside your Lightroom catalog and you can create subdirectories and scatter your images through that to make them easy to find. Alternatively, if you don't speak the digital language and you still come from the old days, you can think of a collection as a bookcase with different, um, what are those things called? The old school, you see, I'm the digital age. Uh, photo albums on your bookcase and each of those has a different collection of images. So, check this out. If I'm gonna take you into my Lightroom over here, I'm in the library module on the left hand side panel. Now I've closed all of those different ones for you. Catalog, we know, that's all the images in your Lightroom catalog. Folders, that is the folder structure of where the images in your Lightroom catalog actually live on your hard drive. Um, maybe we can leave that for another time. The one I'm interested in for today, based on some questions from you guys, is collections. Now, Opening collections, I've got three in here like you can see. Destination galleries, photography competitions, and wildlife prints and art. It's very easy for us to create a new collection on its own. Next to collections, you hit the plus sign, and you can create a collection. Simple. Let's do <coughs> mock-up collection one, just for today. I'm not going to put it inside a set yet, and I'm going to hit create. So what happens is, my new collection comes up at the bottom. I can now go and drag and drop and put images inside there to make it easy to find. For example, if you come to the Chobi with me later in the year, we can shoot and we can put water birds at collection, elephants collection, and you can use those to sort your images within the catalog. Very handy. More than that now, I'm going to remove this one, right click and delete just to keep it neat. What I want to check, and this is again something coming from some of the questions, is how can I create a collection with collections inside? that collection so a lot of collections so if you watch what i have here i've got destination galleries with this highlighted it shows me everything inside destination galleries so there's things from kruger mara there's some polar bears in there it's everything that i have if i open up my destination galleries i have different countries in there so if i go on south africa for example it'll now only show me my south africa images so it works from a top level down that i can start uh, has it breaking down my images to make them easy to find if I open my South Africa collection within destination galleries I then have different destinations in there if I go to let's go to for example I don't know Kalahari it shows me only my images from there same with Kruger Madikwa and so on and so forth I've gone one level further personally and I've created inside each of these I have then created one with each trip that I do there so I can keep them sorted like that this is just for me, so that is my date-based collections. But if I back it up a touch, up until this point, nice way to manage your wildlife images. Destination, per country, and then per specific reserve. How do we do this? Okay, it's a pretty, a very, very simple step. So, we're gonna go about it the same way. I'm just gonna use one and create one called social media with different um, collections inside to make it easy, so I don't mess my stuff up. Oh, happy International Coffee Day for yesterday, by the way. All right, you're going to go to your Collections folder and you're going to hit the plus on the side. Opens up there. You're going to say Create Collection Set. Boom. It comes up over here. Now let's call this show, uh, Social Media Images. You can do this. And I'm going to not put it inside a collection yet. Just like that. Create. You'll see now it opens up Social Media Images in here. If I click on the triangle, there's nothing. Why? Because I haven't created my sub-directories yet. Let's do that. You simply go up to Collections again, hit the plus, create another collection set. Not a collection, a collection set. And this time I'm going to call it, let's call it Facebook Images, just for example. And you have to make sure now you've got this tick. Inside a collection, inside social media. I can go Create. So now, if I look at my structure, I've got social media, and inside that I've got Facebook images. You can see the little icon, it's like a little fi file folder thing, which means it's a set, it's not a single collection. Let's now create a collection inside one of those sets. You top, not 
not to collection set, you hit collection. And now we can say, I don't know, um, WildEye Facebook page. So this will be all the images I'm going to be putting on there. Inside the collection set, yes, Facebook images, create. So now you can see how my, my structure has been built up. Social media images is the big collection. Inside that, I've got my Facebook images as a, also a smaller collection. And then in there, I've got the specific one. Let's back it up and do another one. So if I'm going to say add a collection set, yes, let's call it uh, Instagram. Some cool things on there. I want to do it this time, not inside the Facebook images, but inside the social media. You see, it works the same as a directory structure, main directory, subdirectory, or you can think of it as a bookcase with different, on per shelf, I've got all my Facebook albums. On the next shelf, I've got my Instagram albums. Same way of thinking about it. Instagram, inside a collection set, create. Okay, if I minimize this, I've now got social media, I've got Facebook images, I've got Instagram, and then in there, I haven't created something in there, that is where I can copy my images. So now, if I put images inside the Wild Eye Facebook page, yes, it'll show up under there. It'll also show up one level up if I go to Facebook images, and it'll also show up under social media images, along with any images included in and underneath that collection set. Okay, that's a very rough inter uh, interview. It's not an interview, it's a process. Okay, that's a very rough overview, that's the word, of how to create collection sets within your Lightroom catalog. Go and try it out. Create a couple for yourself. Create a collection set, create a, one underneath that, and then see if you can get that structure going. If there's any issues, drop me a question, and I will then try and take all of those together, and we can kind of brainstorm it out from there in the next video. It's not that difficult. Give it a bash, leave a comment, either on the YouTube page or on the blog where, on the Wild Eye blog, where this will be embedded, and we can take it from there. Good luck, happy light trimming, I will see you guys next time. My name is Jerry from Wild Eye. Have a good one.